The first concept that I teach is dribbling. When a player gets the ball, he dribbles it down the field and scores. Dribbling is a series of small touches on the ball. Without a doubt, this is the most important soccer skill for a young player. At first, they're going to dribble the ball down the field and just dribble it into the goal without shooting, and that's okay. There are two important things I teach the players at this age about dribbling. The first is to keep the ball close. Dribbling is not kick and chase. It is keeping the ball under control all the time with lots of small touches. I teach this by telling them that the ball is like a puppy on a leash. If the puppy gets too far away, he runs off. In soccer, if the ball's too far away, the other team's going to steal it. Keep your puppy close to stop him from running away. The second concept I teach is to keep your head up. I don't explain this at all. Most of my practice games have a lot of traffic. By traffic, I mean lots of kids moving in different directions with a soccer ball. And all I tell them is, don't run into anyone. If a player is staring at his feet, they tend to get run over. It doesn't take them long to figure out that they have to pull their heads up to see what's going on around them. This builds field awareness at a very early age. Now, don't worry if they accidentally run into each other sometimes. That's normal. They're young, and they bounce back quickly. My first dribbling practice game is go score. Make sure every child has a ball, place a portable goal someplace else, and tell them all to go score. They do it all at the same time. Once they get all the balls in the net, pick up the goal and move it someplace else and have them do it again. If you have more balls than players, then the faster players can go back and score a second time while the slower players are still trying to score their first time. The next step up from go score is... The